what's going on? It's me, Steven C. Uh, the old madman just uh, came down here, although I am a superhero from the planet of Omedia. Omedi! Okay, we got a new show. I want to thank you for the emotional support yesterday about, you know, me and my wife splitting up. And uh, I used to always joke about it, but I guess it's not funny. Now, I would like to tell you that I have a little contest running. I got five, my 500 subscribers. I was always going to, I need to have... 500 subscribers. I want to let you know that I need but Now at the end of uh, February, I would like a thousand subscribers and I will never bug you guys about it again or even bring it up. Please sub do subscribe because of the fact that once a YouTuber gets to a thousand subscribers, he can make a little money from each little video and there'll be pop-up videos and you go, God, I don't want to watch these anymore. Okay, first thing I want to tell you is um, being the old mad man, uh, hmm, got a little discoloration. Um, I would like to say this is the way I used to look. Right there, I had extra face, I had extra jaw. I mean, look at between that and that. Boy, my grandson is like 40, 30 pounds. Okay, I want you to, every day, weigh yourself because that's very, very important, okay? You gotta weigh yourself every day with your clothes off and just right in the morning, for, don't drink coffee, don't take your pills, don't brush your teeth. Get on right away. Because psychologically, if you wait just a fraction less every day, you're going to build and have that compound thing. I want to say that you need a little protein, carbs, and fats. Oh my! Protein, carbs, and protein, carbs, and fats, and protein, carbs. I'm going to go for an F chord. Protein, F minor, protein, carbs, and fats. Ended it on the tonic. Okay, feeling wild today. Actually, not as wild as yesterday. Okay, um, let's see. So uh, on your food, on OMAD, one meal a day, okay, you're gonna get into it. I lost uh, like 60 or 70 pounds. I can't really do the math. It's like, what, 137, one, two, something, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, okay. Now, a little protein carbs of ours. Yesterday I was walking with one of my sub friends and a subscriber, and we were noticing these three men that were walking, there were older men walking, walking. Looks like they were friends and they did this all the time, but the one thing is, the one thing is, they had huge guts, big guts, and uh, you know, they're willing to exercise. But they're not willing to cut back on the eating. My favorite author, James Allen, As a Man Thinketh, I've read that book probably 700 times, he used to carry it with me. It's only, it takes you 20 minutes to read it. It said, the, it said people don't want to give up their gustatory pleasures, but they're willing to pay people for procedures to, you know, get intestines cut down or stomach. Okay, let's see. So I would like to know why poor people on the side of the road, you know, holding the sign are the fattest. You know why? Are heavy set because they're in the scarcity mode. You know, they're like, okay, they're like these scavengers that they take what they can get and then they, they just overeat and they overeat. Are you a scavenger? Do you overeat? You know, you get, slow and steady wins the race. God, I love that. I once saw a turtle when I was in like, I don't know, Kansas or something. Okay, um, I would like to say that I've been going pretty fast today and uh, this is what I used to look like. Even my teeth were bad. Look at this, my gray hair. Look how much younger I, okay, this is like the, that's, a coffee stain. Okay, oh, it's going, and I was so tired. I'm tired of being admired. Okay, let's see. I, would, I haven't played any songs, but I would like to say, um, there was a time in my life when I was 200 pounds. This is from my musical. But now I am down, I am down, I am down. I wish I had, I wish I had uh, these dancing girls in the theater. I am down to half the pounds. I am down. Okay, we'll go on to my musical later. Nobody wants to hear about that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will go, and if you don't think, uh, don't believe I'm a composer, this is my, uh, these are all the operettas that I wrote. Uh, the one I'm doing now is OMAD is the day for me. Uh, th these are my operettas I showed you yesterday. Look how, this hurts my dang hand. When I sell these, they're like $75. This is Opera Da Vinci. This is uh, 30 different uh, songs about uh, the invention of Opera Da Vinci. Um, this is an incredible play, you should see it. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, he was mostly an inventor. But he said sublight. That's why I'm bringing it up. Now, the basics of omadation, and I'm from the planet of Omadia, which you guys know right there. Omad Outlaw and all these people. Check out my daughter's channel. Uh, um, God for a second. Oh, let's see, Jocelyn. Okay, let's see. Now listen, Jocelyn Primo. Okay, now, uh, okay, my, it's the Zen Master Stephen Time. <laughs> Hyper. I love the energy because I've got so much passion and I'm too hot in this. What am I doing? I'm schwitzing. My Yiddish grandma would say, Stephen, calm down. I can't. Pay. Okay, listen. Here's my uh, Yiddish. Here. My Zen master, Stephen Omedia, O Madman. I was a baby twice in my life, once when I was born and also between the ages of 24 and 54. Basically, see this thing? Every time I was depressed, uh, uh, I had a problem. I'm in the DMV line. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, nobody's here to love me. I'm sitting on the couch watching Sunfield. Uh, uh, you know, gosh, no wonder I was so fat. So I was a baby then, um, but now I'm not. I'm just, I'm not, you know, so I'm not. Okay, so let's see, I want to say, I am a man, I am a man, apparently I am a man. I am a man, I am a man. Do I say my ex-wife? <laughs> I don't know what to say now. <laughs> it's kind of threw me off. Okay, I want to say, you could actually bend reality. You could change your mind. Now, your brain, you know, like I said, when I was having emotional problems yesterday, I still am about, you know, actually I'm not. To me, it's in the past because I'm a mad man. But, um... You could change your brain. Like for instance, think of a colorful pizza, all different colors and all different, you know, you've got the cilantro and you got the whatever, all the stuff on, it's all different colors. What if it was in black and white? What if you're, you know, just like all these puppies, you know, barking all that kind of stuff in their cages in the pet store, oh, like, boom, boom, boom. they're so great. But what if they're all tireless in black and white? and sitting down. You wouldn't be that excited to see them. I've changed my brain like that. I always walk around Walmart, um, it, you know, and I'm, I don't even see food. I don't even know if they have food in there, but actually it's a big grocery store. Okay, um, I was with a sub yesterday, a subscriber. Everybody please subscribe to my show. I need, by the end of February, I'd like to have, and I will play anything you ask of your request. And also, let's talk about my, and we're gonna go back to eating out of uh, bags and containers. No snacking, I'm driving. Uh, taking her on delivery and she's eating peanuts and I go she goes well it's my window time it's four o'clock and I go and she thought that she could well this will hold me over you know to my time and I go no you should have that on the plate and eat it all at once you I guess that she thought it was okay to graze but no you you want to eat your one meal at the time little bit of fat carbs and protein okay I said it in the wrong order okay so no more eating out of uh, bags and containers just remember, food is fuel, food is fuel, food is fuel, it's nothing else but fuel. Food, it, oh I like that last one. Oh I like that last note, it's so in tune, this piano, I haven't tuned it forever, I never tune my piano. Okay listen, um... So basically, food is fuel. It's not, hey, let's go do Chinese. You hungry? Heck no. Hey, let's go do a pizza. Let's get a couple. I was worried. You guys already know I was worried about that. Okay. Um, does it know? Okay. One of my friends was saying, you know, this is so hard. I'm so hungry. I'm on day seven. Well, the first couple weeks is crucial. But if she had a scale, which she doesn't own one, she would notice that she lost about 10 pounds. If you knew you lost 10 pounds, wouldn't you be more stoked and more happy about it? So um, that's the one thing. Now, don't rely on other people like me, the old madman. I know it's very, very, I know I shouldn't be eating, but I feel like cheating. Paradise, can I listen? Okay, yeah, uh, what? Hold on. 
Yeah, well, I got my rap came on all of a sudden. Okay, let me tell you. And then, okay, I made a nice uh, chicken and boneless breastless chicken with a little bit of cheese and a little bit of nuts. And then I had a nice day and I sat down and made her that. But her sister got a hot pocket. She, she's way different. She got a hot pocket, sat there with some Cheetos. She was done. She, she had carbs. She had a little bit of protein because there was meat and cheese in there. And she had some fat with the, with the uh, what do you call those, uh, Cheetos. But she finished in three minutes. So basically, I went to the bathroom. I've been in the bathroom longer, washing my hair and my face and going to the other longer than three minutes. You got to sit down and enjoy it. And if you really want to go to the next level, like the old mad man, put your fork down in between bites. Watch. You don't have to go. Put your fork down. I learned that in a uh, hypnotize, um, diet weight loss hypnotizing trick. And uh, I lost weight for like four or five months. But you know what? I tried Weight Watchers, it didn't last. I tried hypnotherapy for weight loss, it didn't last. I tried so many things, I tried so many things. Now I got this choir that's gonna go, he tried so many things and it didn't last. And then the door opens up and it goes, I know I feel like eating, but I... Check it out. There's Raphael Studios. There's a, all this very enchanting things that's gonna be happening. Um, oh, it's in, I have a rappers in it. Yeah, oh, what, can I see my loose? Okay, sorry, um, okay, so don't rely on anybody else. I like to say there's no shortcuts into Omega. You gotta get on the ship, rocket ship with me or with someone else, but get on, on board and uh, let's see. Um, I was bipolar, but now I'm feeling better. My family did like me, O-M-A-D. <laughs> I love that song. I was bipolar, but now I'm feeling better. Okay, um, there's no shortcuts. You gotta pay your hunger debt, and you're gonna be hungry. That's just all there is to it. And uh, in conclusion to this, so heavy. I didn't know what to do. Last night I did Elton John just for you. If you guys like my show, please subscribe. Okay, let's see. And I want to say uh, that's by the end of February. I want to have a, a thousand so I can start. I uh, do this every day so I can continue this. Um, make it possible. Continue. Do you believe that? I'm going to do this every day for my ego. No, I'm just joking. I'm here for you guys. I got the world's record yesterday, almost 80 comments on my last show. I don't know if it was because of the Elton John thing. Maybe I got to keep that going. Or maybe I'll do a Queen medley or a 70s medley or a Beatles medley. Or I, I basically, I went over every single type of music in the world. Maybe I, classical. I don't know. I don't it's, You know, but I want to say, basically, let me do a quick commercial. Eat one meal a day. Okay, but you got to get, there's no shortcuts. You can't... Uh, you know, you're gonna be hungry and uh, pay, and then once you, your stomach shrinks and uh, then that's what has um, I proudly announce, I say right now, I'm giving up the cheese and the C-O-W cow. I just like spelling stuff. Obesity is what she says to me. O-B-S-E-T-S-E-T-Y. I don't know how to spell. Anybody who knows me, it's true. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching The Old Mad Man. One meal a day, I'm here every day. I'm, I'm here every single day. I'm one click away. Oh, a little bit of my prince. I'm here every single day. Okay, thank you. Already been 14 minutes, okay. I've been fooling around a lot, but I'm here every day, so I could fool around. And um, thank you for those emotional comments about me and my wife, and, um, but I'm gonna be okay, and uh, I'll never go back to the way you stay, no matter what. And it's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those that usually hide, you know what else? Let's say it. I like you!